We wanted to go a little deeper tonight on Iraqi-American relations, so we are joined from Washington by Yost Hilterman. He is with the International Crisis Group. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. It's been several weeks now, of course, since all U.S. troops in Iraq pulled out of the cities and moved to their bases in the countryside. What has the effect been for security in that country? I think uh, on the security front, we don't see a huge difference because uh, American troops were uh, not really present in urban areas to any great extent except for the capital, Baghdad. And this is the one place where the Iraqi security forces are strongest in all of the country. So the impact has been minimal. I think um, the security situation has remained fairly stable over the past few months. Uh, bombs continue to go off, especially in areas that are less secure. Uh, some towns like Mosul uh, remain profoundly unhappy places, um, but the American forces weren't really there in great numbers to begin with. But the impact from, of, the, of the withdrawal of troops from urban areas is, is mostly political. It's an important milestone for the Obama administration. It's the first step of the troop withdrawal that it has announced. And secondly, it is of incredibly great ex uh, importance for the, uh, for the Maliki government. Um, because they were able to claim victory, to say, listen, American troops are leaving, Iraq is our country, and we can manage it ourselves. What, were, what would happen, say, if that security situation, though, were to deteriorate further? Well, it could, because we're facing legislative elections in January of 2010. And beyond that, with an American troop withdrawal, uh, you could well see that some of the political groups that are talking today may, be, may end up fighting. Um, if that happens, um, we don't know what could happen. It could really deteriorate. There are significant fault lines in Iraq with problems that have remained unaddressed. Um, the surge brought us a measure of security, but it did not bring political deals. And I think this is extremely alarming. And this is one reason why the Obama administration is starting to put some attention to, uh, on the need for political deals in Iraq. Well, speaking of that, Vice President Biden recently in Iraq, uh, he reportedly put a lot of pressure on the government to move more swiftly to reach political agreements amongst the rival groups. Do, have you seen progress? Not yet. Um, I think what, we, what is required is real American diplomatic muscle supporting the United Nations. The United Nations is heavily involved now in uh, discussions over some of the most difficult questions. Um, and um, there is a process for that, but talks are going very slowly. Things are, are pretty stuck. And I think we have uh, Kurdish elections in a few days, and then we have Iraqi parliamentary elections. It's going to be very difficult to close any deals uh, during election season. But preparatory work could be undertaken now with American support. And then hopefully um, some deals can be reached uh, sometime in next spring. Joost Hilderman, thank you very much for speaking with us. My pleasure. Thank you.